Hello and welcome to Sim Racing VR. Uh, um, in this little two-part series, um, going to be seeing how fast we can make the ETK uh, 190D. This is the 845 190D, as I say. Um, so we're going to set a baseline time, um, and then in this video, we're going to do um, tires and suspension, um, and then in the next video, it will be. Uh, power mods and a limited slip diff. So yeah, let's set a baseline time.
Okay, so that's the um, that's the baseline done. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back down to the bottom. Um, I forgot to mention brakes at the beginning of the video as well. Brakes is something we'll be doing. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is we'll go back down to the bottom. Um, we'll start again, but this time I'm going to do um, racing brakes and racing tires. So I think the main factor there is the tires. Um, even when I'm not trying to, um, it's very slidey, very understeery, um, and yeah, trying to come out from the rear even when I'm not on the power. So I think we go to vehicle config and we'll go straight for, um, I can't remember where it is now, here we go. So we'll go straight for uh, racing front and rear discs. race rear disc and I think we'll go for uh, racing front tires, racing rear tires and yeah we'll try again
Okay, so that was just tires and brakes. Um, I definitely felt better. Um, less understeer, less tail coming out, um, even when I'm not on the power, or if I am on the power. Um, but yeah, no, that definitely felt much better. I'm not sure how much faster, if at all, um, because I'm going to be doing timings um, in the edit afterwards. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, um, yeah, when I start editing, um, yeah, how much faster, if at all. Um, but now we're going to go back down to the beginning again, um, and this time we're going to go. I'm going to go for race. Yeah, I think race suspension. Um, where are we? Front struts. We'll go racing coilovers. Front sway bar. And where's rear? There's rear. So we'll go race rear shocks and race in rear springs. And yeah, let's see what kind of difference that makes. I'm really looking forward to the next video. We're gonna need oh we're gonna need that extra power for the um yeah, for that last uphill section because I'm struggling. Um yeah, we're struggling to maintain forty miles an hour in third gear. So I'm definitely looking forward to the extra power. Um, but yeah, let's see what kind of difference the suspension makes.
Okay, there you go. So, uh, again, as with the last one, I'm not sure if that was any quicker. Um, and if so, I don't know how much quicker. Because, um, like I say, I'm going to be doing the timings in the edit afterwards. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, definitely felt better. Um, I would say the it was much easier to control with the suspension because um, the car's not um, you know rolling around too much or leaning in the corners it definitely felt more stable um, I think that goes without saying um, but yeah definitely felt much better again um, as with the last two still struggling on the uphill bits um, yeah I'm definitely uh, definitely looking forward to having uh, more power but I'm undecided uh, in the next one do I go all out and go straight for the max amount of boost I can have and a, a racing LSD? Or do we go racing LSD and then gradually increase the power? I don't know. Don't know. But, yeah, with that said, I think that's, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.